Hi, this is the Ivy League Astrologer with the June 2015 reading for Vedic Pisces. Okay, Vedic Pisces, you have a ton of cards this month. Libra and Sagittarius also had a ton of cards this month, so whatever's up with that. Um, the first card out for you guys is the Fool in Reverse. I feel like this is... Um, Kind of about you seeking the light. Um, hmm. To me, it looks like you're kind of setting off in on a new path or like with this forward momentum where the thing that you really are gathering strength from or the thing that kind of is going to bloom for you is something that you're not quite looking at right now or something that you're leaving behind even. Um, and it may be that your pride is kind of propelling you to leave this behind or to move forward on this path that you had are, that you have set up for yourself. Um, But I feel like this is something that's going to nag you, that's not going to leave you alone, kind of, even as you kind of move forward. <clears throat> it could be an emotional disappointment of some kind that you're kind of trying to salvage, you know, um, trying to like hold yourself together about. And so you may want to um, just keep moving, just keep moving forward and not give yourself time to really think about it. But I think that, um, yeah, it's, Kind of follow you, frankly. <laughs> um, whatever kind of disappointment this was, and maybe still is, you know, and maybe that there's three parties involved, that there's, um, you know, been some betrayal, um, or been some just not acting entirely out in the open that has gone on. And that has ruined or just kind of poisoned what could be a new start. And for, in some cases, this may just be that there's a third party involved um, in whatever capacity. But yeah, I feel like you're not going to be able to outrun this, uh, this emotion or outrun the situation. It may give you some time and space to kind of think about it, and maybe to heal a bit, um, if you are able to travel a bit, or if you're able to just kind of separate yourself for a while. So I think whatever you can do to kind of reconnect with yourself, or reconnect the situation, would be positive. I don't think it's going to leave you alone. Even as you turn your back to it with sort of the best intentions. And that may be just what's needed right now is a timeout in order to kind of realign with your higher self. And just even just to kind of work out your day-to-day -day so you don't feel so stuck.
But I think your mind is going to keep returning to this situation. And it feels like the thing is that the situation is just not ready. You know, the timing is just not right yet. So. You can kind of ease up <laughs> in a way. Kind of lay back for a while. Because I feel like there's someone who's kind of not seeing the forest for the trees, you know, and you're kind of waiting for this person, and you may be this person, you're waiting for this person to move things forward. And it feels like so something that you've been waiting for can come to fruition. And whether that's just friendly arrangements with somebody or a new relationship. Um, but it feels like something that you have been, that has not been available. The kind of the window for it is coming up, but it's not here yet. Um, and it requires this other person to do some more internal work and to kind of make that offer to you. And if you're, um, this may be you, particularly if you're a male Pisces, it may require you to do a bit more internal work in order to move the situation forward. Because right now there's someone who's not seeing the potential of a relationship <clears throat> and the importance of it for their life the way it could actually free them. But I feel like you, Pisces, see it very clearly, especially if you're a female Pisces. I usually I'm not so, and it could be that you're male and see it very clearly, but it's just on the cards it's coming up as, as female and male. Yeah, I feel like you were very deeply wanting a healing, especially, again, the female Pisces. A very deeply wanting a healing that can enrich your lives. And it's not just you that you want, that your life, you want your life enriched. It's for you and another person at the minimum. But I feel like it's for you and a family circle, you and a family, you and a group of people that it would enrich their lives if this person kind of comes around. And there is progress in that this month, but it's moving slowly. So that's the message, is that there is some progress. <clears throat> and it's going to kind of get you to the healthy place, to the place of, of richness, and emotional richness, emotional vibrance. Um, but it's moving at a snail's pace, basically. Even though you have the vision for it, you can really see it very clearly, see into the future very clearly how you, how things should be, it's still kind of just inching along because it's not within your control, it feels like. Either it's not within your control or else you are learning a very deep lesson or just learning, just starting to see things shape up in a different way that you can only move on in a very slow manner because you really need to ingest and digest and believe those lessons in order to be able to move forward because whatever it is, it's a big deal. Um, so yeah. This is definitely hurting someone who's involved here though. It's painful. Um, Either kind of a painful split or else someone is feeling painfully like a third wheel. Um, but yeah, again, the solution to sort of untangling that is coming slowly this month. And I think in some cases it may be that someone is, is seeing finally kind of the pain that they have 
caused by their attitude of just sort of charging ahead and completely making things new in some way. Um, or not being able, not being willing to, to resolve the past or not being willing to, um, be dragged back into the past in some way. So, yeah, I think they're, hmm. this person is sort of wanting to occupy two positions at once. Um, they're wanting to both kind of be the good guy and be uninvolved. Yeah. And whatever, however this has been manifesting, it's really weighing heavily on someone, on someone's emotional state. To the point where that person, I think, is actually going to be okay. They have strength and resilience. Whoever is being weighed down by this, they have resilience. Um, but it's like they are needing to undertake a healing in order to kind of overcome the pain that has been caused uh, by someone refusing to kind of see how their behavior impacts others. So it's a month, oddly, for reconnection, kindness, and also vision. In order to kind of um, build the foundation of what you want for the future. And also, I think checking that the that the uh, foundation is strong. You know, like testing that the things that that whatever your your household or your future plan is built on are secure. Because for some of you, I think you're kind of waiting for someone to come around. And in the meantime, it's like you're using, particularly this month, you're using that time productively to kind of um, build what you can build, make what you can make, make things as good as they can possibly be. Um, knowing or hoping that eventually this person will come in, come around, but not being sure. But it's like you're sort of like you know putting on your apron and being like I rolling up your sleeves and being like I'm doing it myself. But um, I do think this person will come around. It's just um, in time. This is not quite the time yet. So, so I hope that was helpful, Pisces. <laughs> um, for June, um, if you'd like a personal reading, please do get in touch. Um, my link for scheduling is down below. And um, please note that all the times are Pacific time. I am in California. So um, any time adjustment you need to make, make sure that the time works for you in your time zone. You can just Google it. Um, and um, yeah, my email is theivyleagueastrologer at gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a good month. Thank you. Bye.